Hey everybody. Happy Wednesday night. It is uh, Wednesday, October 20th. Um, welcome to the studentloanjustice.org live stream. My name is Alan Collins. I'm founder of studentloanjustice.org. We are the oldest, largest, and in many ways only true uh, grassroots group actually fighting for student loan justice. We've been around since 2005. Most recently, we created the petition in March 2020 that would have the president cancel all federally owned loans by executive order and return bankruptcy protections to all the loans that cannot be canceled. So we are thrilled that you're here with us tonight. A um, couple of announcements. First of all, I want to thank Anna Mortensen for these awesome, I'm going to go ahead and just say it. I think they could possibly be collector's items at some point down the road. Um, <laughs> uh, these are our Slexit buttons. So, you know, you hear a lot of people talking about, oh, let's do a debt strike. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Strike is the wrong word. Strike implies that we're not going to pay until our demands are met, and then we'll pay. Like, no, that's not, that's not correct. This lending system has catastrophically failed. Um, so, Whatever you want to call stopping paying, I probably wouldn't call it a strike. I would call it like, I don't know, um, loan deletion or uh, loan refusal. But you know, the thing, the word, the, the sort of um, the brand name, hey, Lisa's here. How's it going, Lisa? Um, what sticks in my mind, and this may or may not have legs, I think it might, it kind of grows on you, is Selexit. Right? So Brexit, Britain exit. They Brexited out of the European Union. Well, we're talking about a student loan exit, Slexit. So thus the pin. Um, we also have Slexit stickers, thanks to Anna. I've only got like one sheet here, but... Um, so yeah, oh, check this out. This is, again, thanks to Anna. Slexit can... Sucks it candy. So I'm not exactly sure how that might work. I could give it to trick-or-treaters, and I kind of don't know what they would do with it. But it's still pretty cool. So thank you, Anna. Thank you very much. Um, oh, no, I already showed you that. We've just got all kinds of Slexit gear rolling around in the house nowadays. We also have these really cool pins, also from Anna. Thank you, Anna. Um, talking about canceling student debt and has a link to the petition and all that good stuff. So thank you, Anna. We'll find a way to use these. This is this is really good stuff. Um, uh, and speaking of which, may, maybe we'll do like a donation thing because we need to raise $700 by the end of the month, which is by our standards, ooh, it's kind of tough to do. Um, so if you can donate, please do it. I think I'll do something like if you donate like 20 bucks or more or something, then I will mail you like a sticker and a button. But you got to give me your address because otherwise I won't know where to send it to. Hey, so it's Halloween, guys. Another very important announcement. Um, this comes from our AV club. We're doing two things. We're doing a pumpkin carving contest. This is uh, um, Heather and Vanessa are doing this. Uh, Student Loan Justice AV Club. And I will paste the link to it below. Um, carve a, some kind of a pumpkin that has something to do with the whole student loan catastrophe like the horrifying terrifying student loan thing um carve a pumpkin i'm gonna do one i probably won't carve it i'll probably buy a pumpkin and write on it with a marker because my carving skills are suspect um but do that i'll paste the link to that whole thing and the second thing um we're soliciting scary sort of halloween type videos from people um so you know kind of the same idea like how horrible student loans are i'm thinking like something that has to do with like zombies or something but it like we're talking quick we're like don't make a movie don't make a film we're talking about stuff that we can throw up on TikTok. so like 15 seconds or 30 seconds or something something that is just very quick and to the point um anyways i'm not the creative guy i'm not the artist here in the room but you can come up with some pretty clever things, clever 15 second clips that you can do, which illustrate the horrifying nature 
of student loans. So again, I will paste a link to the AV Club below here today, tonight also. Um, so tonight, I wanted to keep it a little bit short. Um, I want to address one question that we get a lot. Oh, well, first of all, what's going on right now that's important, very important, they are marking up our bankruptcy bill in the Senate this week. I don't know if it already happened. I kind of thought maybe it happened on Monday. I'm not sure. Um, S2598. So we've been asking everybody to send tweets to key Republican senators like um, like Ted Cruz and like Lindsey Graham and like Josh Hawley and uh, John Cornyn. These are key Republican senators on the Judiciary Committee that need to feel the heat from us right now. So again, look up and down on this group. You can see some tweets that we did that we're asking people, people to retweet. Um, more than anything, though, go to our website. Go to the daily actions on our website and do like the past couple days worth of actions, and that will put you right where you need to be. I would say do the past week or two weeks or even months worth of daily actions, quite frankly. Uh, it doesn't require a ton of your time. Like most of the things take like seconds to do. It's like... Probably 75% of the stuff is all Twitter, like retweet this, quote tweet that, um, call out a celebrity on this tweet. It's all Twitter stuff. So, um, Hey, we have a couple comments here. By the way, if you have any questions or comments, throw them out and I will respond to them as I see them. Uh, Lisa says, our event made the... Oh yeah, that's right. I totally forgot. Uh, Lisa says, our event made the news. So far, Fortune and Fox News uh, Finance. Good point, Lisa. You know, we did a talk last week at the University of Southern California with the Kasdan Institute. Um, Chuck Schumer gave the opening remarks. Um, the president of the college gave uh, opening remarks. It was a very powerful discussion that we did with Rabbi Jason Rosner, um, uh, Kiyomi um, Kowalski, uh, um, a veteran, a lawyer, an activist, um, a, a Jewish person. It was uh, we did this with the Kazan Institute, which is, I think Lisa will correct me if I'm wrong, part of uh, or connected to the Hebrew Union College, which is a college with a right adjunct or maybe even concurrent spatially with the University of Southern California and the USC Film School. It was a great talk, a great event, and yesterday Fox Business reported on it, and Lisa is just telling me that I'm seeing now for the first, first time that Fortune magazine, which is the very first magazine I ever got anything published in back in 2005, uh, also published something on it. So that's great news. I hope to, hope to see it coming. Um, she just pasted. I would urge everybody to go to that Fox Business article and make some comments below it because the haters, the people, the, hey, I paid my own way. You got to pay your own way. Or the, you borrowed the money. Nobody put a gun to your head. Pay that money back. Those guys, the haters, they are out in droves, certainly on the Fox Business article. So jump on there and make your own comments. It will only help. These people are very easily shut down, by the way. Easily shut down. What I usually say, I usually say, hey, man, quit shilling and shilling for and defending the worst big government Red state wrecking, college enriching, lending scam in the history of the country. There's nothing conservative about doing that. You need to quit wagging your fingers and you need to learn something about this big government scam rather than be co-opted by it and be a useful idiot for it. That's not conservative. That's not MAGA, I tell them. I usually say something like that. Um, so Lisa says, oh, okay, apparently they're not, uh, apparently the Kazan Institute slash Hebrew Union, or apparently Hebrew Union is not connected to USC, but they're like co-located. So anyways, um, in any event, thank you, Lisa. By the way, Lisa, one person made that whole USC slash Kazan Institute event happen single-handedly, which just goes to show that one, this, first of all, these are our loans. This is our problem. One person like Lisa just demonstrated can work miracles. One person can totally move the ball for us, like in a 
big way. And I think that's what Lisa did. We're, we'll see all the good things that are going to come out of this uh, this film school talk. Um, I'm sure we haven't seen um, the last of the good things to come from this. So if you're sitting there wondering what you can do, yeah, you can go and do all of our daily actions. You know, one of the most useful things that anybody can do right now is to get us in a meeting with a Republican governor. You know, there are a ton of, of red Republican states that are being absolutely devastated by student loans. Absolutely devastated. Like Georgia. State of Georgia, the, the entire state budget of Georgia is $48 billion. The people of Georgia owe $82 billion in mostly federal student loan debt. So this is a state sovereignty issue. And the Republican governors of these Republican states that owe more than their entire state budgets in student loan debt, they need to be standing up to the federal government against, uh, against this lending system. They need to be fighting for their people. And remember, about 55%, maybe more, of all student loan borrowers identify politically as being either Republican or independent. So that's a majority of student loan borrowers, Republican independent and in southern or in red states like southern red states in particular i think it's higher than 55 percent. i think it's a good bit higher so oh cool it looks like we also have another piece coming out on money.com yeah so we're just blowing up in the media guys um this is a very good thing uh right now we are at a the most critical juncture in the history of in the 16 going on 17 year history of our organization. As I said, we have a bankruptcy bill, which is absolutely critical and key for ultimately getting loans canceled, I think. Um, that is in the sausage making machine right now as we speak. It's so important that we pressure Republican senators to push the bill. I know I keep saying Republican, 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 but you guys, you need to, you need to realize this. We are a fiercely non-partisan group. Our members comprise the left, the right, the libertarians, the, you name the party, the Green Party, the Constitutional Party. We have people of all political stripes in our group. However, and so we are, we will say, we, we typically say pretty terrible things about people from both of the major parties, usually. Every once in a while, we get to say something nice, but we point the finger where it needs to point. So we are a totally nonpartisan group. Whatever your stripes are, you are very welcome here. We're very glad to have you. Our political diversity is our strength. You know, when you get a, a, a super liberal from Boston on the same side as a cowboy from Texas, well, you know you're onto something strong, and we are. Um, so we're a nonpartisan group, but we have to be very wary and cognizant <laughs> that this has become a political issue in many ways. Historically, uh, the Republicans have tended to oppose us in, first of all, getting bankruptcy returned to the loans, and that's changing as we speak. We now have more Republican co-signers on our bankruptcy bill than we do Democrats, and I hope that continues. I hope the Republicans decide to take the lead on this issue. They should. It's a conservative issue. Um, but that is the history of the thing, guys. So for whatever reason, and I can maybe go into that at some point if anybody's interested, but um, historically, the Republicans have opposed us, and that's got to end. And if we can get even one or two or three Republican governors to join us, stand up and say, Mr. President, enough. I will not let my state, the great state of Georgia, the great state of Texas, Tennessee, Alabama, Florida, Ohio, North Carolina, South Carolina, uh, New Hampshire, South Dakota, Indiana. I will not let my great Republican state, did I say Alabama? I will not let my great Republican state be wrecked by this catastrophic, nationally threatening, big government, federal student loan scam. I will not. As governor, I'm asking you, Mr. President, to cancel these loans. If we get even two or three governors to do that, that's going to change everything, guys. That's 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 game over. We win. Loans gone. So think about that. Um, that's really probably the quickest path for us. 
the most, uh, and I hope that happens. And if you work for it, it will happen. If we have more people like Lisa out there in the country, in states like Texas, Florida, Alabama, Indiana, Tennessee, North South Carolina, etc., it will happen. But it starts with you, you sitting there. This is a not. This is not a wait, watch, worry, and hope it happens um, proposition here. This is a. This is a own the problem make it happen. This is your battle. This is your personal battle, your war to fight. When you sitting there get off your ass, and probably most of the people watching this have gotten off their butts, so I salute you all, and you know that I do. But to everybody else who's been waiting and watching and worrying, no, 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 you gotta, you gotta turn over a new leaf, because this problem will never get solved with you sitting on the sidelines. So... We are very hopeful, speaking of Republican-Democrat stuff, um, that thing that we did at USC was, um, you know, Chuck Schumer was all over it, etc. So the people on Fox are going to be just up in arms about it. So respond to them, of course. But what we would love to do is a similar thing, hopefully with the film, but just in any context. Um, you know, we'll talk to anybody anytime about anything as long as it's in the context of student loans. We would love to do a similar thing with Republicans, like a Republican senator, like Josh Hawley, uh, like Lindsey Graham, like uh, Ted Cruz. And, uh, those past two guys have historically been just terrible on the student loan issue. But, you know, it would be a huge, huge feather in our cap to be able to do a public thing with a guy like Ted Cruz, who he himself in the Supreme Court fought against student loan borrowers. If we can get him on our side, maybe not on loan cancellation, but maybe, hopefully, um, but at least at the minimum on bankruptcy, that would be legend. That would just be like, that would blow my head up. So it would be a super good thing, and I hope that will happen. But it will only happen when you sitting there make it happen. So... Um, let's see if we have any more comments here. Yeah, so we're going great guns, guys. We've never been in a better position ever in the 16-year uh, history of our group. Um, I mentioned all the announcements. Um, oh, one quick, one quick little point here. We see this all the time where people go, you know, if they would just cancel the interest then that would be great. I'd settle for that. Here's the problem with canceling interest. Most loans, it is literally impossible to know how much of that loan is actual interest and how much is actual unpaid principal. You know, particularly for older people, their loans have been consolidated, maybe defaulted, maybe rehabilitated, maybe bought and sold on Wall Street, which actually does happen for a small percentage of student loans. My point is that for many, probably most loans, the repayment of the loan is not known, the repayment history of the loan, I should say, and it is literally impossible to know how much of a loan is actual unpaid principal, um, uh, how much is interest. And so it is impossible to know, therefore, it is impossible to write legislation that the Department of Education could follow that would actually cancel interest. Yeah, even in the, in the best case scenario, the Department of Education would just look at a loan. They go, okay, well, we see your principal balance is 150000 we see the interest is 20000 so yeah, we'll go ahead and cancel 20000 When in fact, that person probably originally borrowed like $35,000, maybe has already paid $50,000, and yet still what shows up on paper is just not, has no bearing in reality. Um, and, and, and another thing, a lot of people have already paid three, four, five times what they borrowed. Uh, or at least as much as they borrowed, two times, three times, four times, five times, even ten times, and yet still have a principal balance of, like, more than they borrowed. That's how ridiculous and insane this lending system has become. So, guys, it's too late to rearrange deck chairs. And again, any law that you could possibly write would not be, would not be able to be followed. So it is literally impossible to legislate interest, cancellation, interest forgiveness, call it whatever you want. Can't be done. 
and any law that you might write towards that end, the Department of Education will, can, and absolutely um, will enjoy not canceling loans because they'll say, hey, we can't do anything with this. Sorry. That's what they do. That's what they're good at. They love not canceling loans, if you haven't noticed. Look at the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program. <coughs> And hopefully that's changing. So here's the thing, guys. If you are one of those people that's all, can you just cancel interest? Just cancel interest. No, no, no. That's untenable. That's a non-starter. Now, in the presence of the threat of bankruptcy protections back on our side, in other words, with the threat of bankruptcy protections back on our side, then some sort of an interest forgiveness cancellation workout some negotiated settlement where your interest goes away, that becomes possible. But it's not going to happen until, at a minimum, we get our bankruptcy protections back. And I might add, if you paid attention at all, you will see that Joe Biden does not want to cancel loans. Joe Biden and the swamp people around him do not want to cancel loans. But like I said with the last thing, in the presence so with the threat of bankruptcy back on our side, all of a sudden, Joe Biden has to start, and the swamp people around him, have to start looking at this problem in a different way. All of a sudden, it's like, oh, shit, we need to start canceling some loans. Because if we don't, we're going to see 20, 25 million people flood the bankruptcy courts, which in an average year, fewer than a million people file for bankruptcy for any reason on all debts. So they don't want to be the administration that compelled 25 million people to fl over overwhelm the bankruptcy courts to the point of seizure. They don't want to be those guys. Um, that's why bankruptcy is so important. And that's why the founders called for uniform bankruptcy laws in the Constitution, ahead of the power to declare war, ahead of the power to raise an army. So um, the takeaway here, the lesson learned, is that bankruptcy is freaking important, guys. Everybody wants loan cancellation, but I don't, I, I honestly don't see meaningful student loan cancellation happening in the absence of bankruptcy protections. So bankruptcy remains as or more important as it's ever been in the 16 year history of this group. So that's the final point I want to make tonight. And I hope that um, hope that it sank in with you all. With that, I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to wish you all good luck. I'm not going to repeat myself, except to say, if you can donate right now, please do so. Uh, as I said, we have to raise 700 bucks by the end of the month, which is a pretty tall order for us. Um, please kick in what you can. Um, and if you send a huge amount, like I'll mail you this button. How's that sound? And plus a sticker. <laughs> okay. Plug done. I hate fundraising guys. I hate it. I hate it. Um, make it easier. Please make it easier on us. Um, so, all right, guys. It is a dark and stormy and pretty cold night here in northern Wisconsin. I will call it that. I will call it good at that. I will wish you all good luck. Thanks again to Lisa Ansel. You rock, Lisa. Be like Lisa. Be like Lisa. <sighs> um, good luck. Godspeed in your fight, your fight, your battle, your war. And God bless everybody.